This is so weird actually doing this in English. <laughs> Hey, uh, my name is Jeanne. I don't know if you know me. This is the first time I do a video in English, which is a bit weird. Last year, I saw a video from this girl that I will probably put here. Um, she was doing her own rating of uh, the Eurovision Song Contest, which is what I'm totally gonna do right now. Am I the most legit person to do it? Probably not. <laughs> Obviously, this is one of the best show ever, every year. This year was terrible, one of the worst editions ever. Like, all the ballads was so bad. It was a really bad year. Like, I think nothing can compete with 2021. It was such good edition. So, first one was Czech Republic. I don't remember every song, I have to say. So I will have to listen to them. I would say Czech Republic is pretty Eurovision. Eurovision is all about countries sending yelling women. But she was actually okay good. So let's say I would probably give her like around 11 or something. She was not bad, but she was not the best. So that's okay. Let's go to Romania. Romania, my love. Actually, no one really knows why they sang in Spanish. I mean, <laughs> why not? You do what you want. I'm sorry, but this song is a huge bop. This song is so good. It's your vision, shitty good song. You know what I mean? All the countries sang in English, okay? Like, I'm devoted to the songs that I sang in their own languages. But still, this is a pop and I love it, so we're gonna give Romania like five or something. I'm sorry, this was too good. Third one is Portugal. Your Vision 2022 was too much ballad song. We're so over it. When you go to Eurovision, you want to see, I don't know, like dancing dinosaurs or angels with chains or I don't know, fires and stuff. It was mm -mm, not really good. Sorry, Portugal, but for me, Portugal would be like in the, in the last ones, like, like 16 or something. Then uh, we had Finland. Finland deserve so much better, they were robbed this year. The judges, they voted for random sad songs. We all wanted to kill ourselves this year. And Finland is like the, the, the clown from it. And is that a bad thing? No. Is that weird? I guess so. Is that what we want in the Eurovision? Definitely. Finland would be like six and they deserved it. Everyone remembers Finland and Finland was fucking good. Then we have Switzerland. Every year sending people that are about to cry on the stage. As viewers, we want like spicy people, you know? They, they sent exactly the same song last year, like we're really tired of people, you know? to lie behind them, singing with the arms like this. I mean, they did it in France last year. I like the song, but still we're tired of it. Like, can we please stop sending people tired, just crying on stage? I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. 21st or something. Then we had, we had my country. I love France, definitely. And I will protect my own people. We deserve better. We were robbed. They were doing different stuff. They were doing like some song from Brittany. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We're tired of people from Brittany and the rest of France because they're always talking about Brittany. They have their flags everywhere. Still, it was so much different. Like, at least they tried, you know? I loved it. The song was not that bad. Judges. Six points, come on! 
I saw a tweet like uh, the three girls singing. What kind of like the the girls in Camp Rock when they sing with their shoulders? This. It was different from what we saw all the night about people crying. It was giving me like some witches kind of spirit and honestly I'm living for this I'm living for this let me put my country at least 10 cuz yeah do I love my country and what they do under Eurovision every year yes but this one deserves it next we have Norway can we just talk about the fact that Norway Finland Iceland and all the country from the north they always send some crazy stuff or crazily good songs and like yeah can we talk more about that like... Sorry, but can we say that this was this was one of the best uh, scenography of the whole night? I'm pretty sure if they ever do like a Just Dance Eurovision um, edition, they will probably be this song with like exactly the same costume and the and the little like. I saw something on TikTok that apparently the DJ, the one in the astronaut thing, is Tix. Tix was the previous contestant from last year. He's doing all the songs from the Rus in Norway. He was in love, you know, with the girl that was doing like Mata Hari. Mama, Mama, Mata Hari. They deserve better instead of giving points to crying people. You can count how many times I will criticize the crying songs. <laughs> well, so Norway was seventh to go, and I think Norway deserves to be at least yeah probably seven is a good place no i will, I will i'm gonna exchange them with finland so then we have armenia oh actually armenia was fucking good song it's like the kind of song you will hear on the radio and sing in the car it was a super good song and at least there was like scenography with like all the paper and everything was it the best no is it a bit old-fashioned to do this kind of this was a fucking good song, but this is not the kind of song we want into the in the Eurovision. You know what I mean? Crying about your ex, mm, not the kind of stuff I want. But it was good. It was good. But still, so Rosalind, I love you. I know you will never see this video, but I love you. <laughs> Confessing my love to people who will never hear it. Mm, basically, my entire life. That's true. Armenia I would say probably probably 13. Ninth was Italy. Can we talk about Mahmoud which is the most incredible person in this whole world? Cause obviously my guy, you were robbed in 2019. Cause Saldi by Mahmoud was one of the best songs the Eurovision have ever seen. Do I have a crush on every Italian person that I see in my life? Yes, because uh, I was with a friend. I forced him to watch the Eurovision. I don't know if he liked it, but I will assume he loved it. And then he told me, you have something with Italian people? Because like every time we talk about Italian people, the Eurovision, you're in love with this person. And I was like, yes, who is not in love with every Italian person we've seen in the entire life? I mean, come on. I'm sorry, I won't negotiate with that. Italy is going to be eight. Uh, next, we have... Spain, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I was not a big fan of Spain. Uh, I mean, like, this is one of the first years they don't send that many yelling women on stage. Spain was good, but like, not as good as everyone was talking about. Her dance was so good, like, her entrance with like, the split and everything. I mean, I wanna do that. Like, come on, girl. She is stunning. So her outfit was so good, like, like her body slash kind of pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hard to describe. Was so good, scenography, so good, dancers and everything. She has to get like some crazy cardio shit, cause dancing that much, 
singing live girl come on just for this i'm gonna give you the first place then we have the netherlands except the fact that she really looks like kate blanchett am i the only one to think about this because i didn't see that on twitter she was really good that's the kind of song that is kind of good in the radio I love the fact that <laughs> my friend told me that the the lights in the back they were doing this <laughs> as if it was like dancing people. I love the song, but do I want to commit suicide while watching the Eurovision? Usually no. Usually I'm laughing because it's either super weird or ridiculous, and it was none of them. But I don't want this. But it was still a good song. So I would probably put the Netherlands like 15. We were sleeping this year, sleeping. Then we have Ukraine. Everyone is talking, you know, about everyone voted for Ukraine because it's like because of the war and everything. And let's say that yes, probably. But is it a good song? Yes, totally. Is it my favorite song of this year? Probably as well. Uh, it really sounds like one of the one of the most powerful songs. If you think about the war, if you think about their mother nation instead of the mother herself, whatever it is, such a good song. And love the scenography, bit weird. Love the flute, because let's say we all love a bit of instrument. Like let's talk about Alexander Reback. He probably won because we loved her vi uh, his violin. Uh, violin was making everything. I am totally for Ukraine as first because their song was crazy good. And and if you disagree with me, then hit the I don't like button. I don't care. They don't have numbers anymore. So then we have Germany. My poor Germany. When. Mika, can we talk about Mika just two seconds? He was so handsome. And all of the outfits, they rocked. When he got assaulted by the Norwegian, was it good? Yeah, I loved it. This, is, this was one of my favorite moments from the Eurovision. Even if nothing can compete with when one guy came showing his ass on stage, that was one of the best moments of all the Eurovision history. When Mika told, uh, oh, Germany got zero points, you couldn't hear our French host. They just did like, <gasps> I mean, the song was not bad, but the song was not good, and we totally don't want to hear about this. For me, it sounds and look super TikTok. Do I want to see TikTok in the Eurovision? Hell no. I want to lie. For me, you're like 24. Then we have Lithuania. Can we talk about her? Do I love her song? Yes. Do I love her behavior on stage? Yes. Lithuania deserved so much better. I was, oh my god, I loved her. But this is so much different from one what we had. It was so good. This was so, so good. I'm sorry, Lithuania, your third. I loved it. I love it. I can't say anything else. So next uh, we have Azerbaijan. Was one of the crying song again. Okay. It was good, good dance. Why would they put him on like this kind of U.S. teenage rom-com bench? We don't know. Dance was good. Song was good. Did we want to die? Yes. Did we want to cry? Yes. Did we fall asleep watching this? Probably. I'm sorry, Azerbaijan, for me, you're like 23 or something. Thank you for participating, Azerbaijan. Then we have Belgium. Belgium, not good, not bad. Still, did I love his song? No, did I got bored? Probably. Thank you, Belgium, for participating. Probably 20. Next, we have Greece. Uh, Greece. Good song, fucking boring. They really entered with a song called Die Together. About to cry, about to die. It's Die Together, girl. 
So thank you, Grace. Good song, but you're 20. Um, oh no, you call me 21st. There's already three today. Then you're 22. Then we have Einstein. Einstein. Einstein was boring. Let's say this. It was like this. They, 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 they look kind. Which is even worse when you say this, you know? It's like when your best friend, she comes with your new boyfriend and you say, Oh, he's super kind. That means that he's ugly. Well, they seem kind. That means this song is boring. I'm putting Belgium 19 and Einstein 20. Because I love Belgium way more. Then we have Moldova. I found a TikTok that was saying that I will put you there, the opportunities for the people that were trying to be like to, to represent Moldova at the Eurovision. I don't know if it's true. If it's true, that is genius. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Moldova, this is exactly where we wanted the Eurovision. We watch this every year because we want some people with like outfits that don't match with the music, that don't match with the scenography, that don't match with the dance. That's why we want. We just want crazy people singing songs that we don't understand. Uh, I'm gonna push Italy 9 and put Moldova 8. So next we have Australia. Can we talk about the fact that we, no one wants Australia in the Eurovision? Why are you here? But I don't know why the judges, they always love Australia that much. And us, we always give Australia like two points. I mean, except the fact that he had crazy good outfits. Do we love the song? No. Germany doesn't deserve to be last, you know what I mean? Switzerland deserves to be last actually, I guess. So I'm putting Switzerland last and I'm gonna put Azerbaijan 21st. And then Germany, 22nd. Australia, not the last, but the most. Next, we have the UK. It was overrated. He, he was okay. I loved his outfit, by the way. It was really good. Uh, like this year, most of the people, they had really good costumes in general. The UK, 14th. No, 12, 12. Let's go with 12. Then we have Poland. We had so many songs that didn't wake me up, that didn't make my heart beat. I was falling asleep a bit. I was with my friend, uh, we were in my bed and we were just falling asleep. Probably because of the hangover, yes, but probably because it was boring this year. Okay, so let's say uh, the song from Poland was, like Poland was good, it was one of the best songs from the Boring Crying song. 14th, I would say that is uh, a good place for them. It's like in the middle, not the best, not the worst, okay song. Then we have Serbia. Can we talk about the fact that Serbia, Serbia was one of the best songs this year? The song, yeah, was about the COVID, whatever. The song was good, the scenography was good. It was so much different from what we had. It, it, was, it was just a whole experience, you know, different from what from everyone else. So basically, yes, it is a big year from, for Serbia to be second. I'm sorry, you will probably deserve it with me. I don't care. Clap your hands. Then we have Estonia is giving me Avicii 2010s kind of song. Uh, I think it's better than all the crying song, 13th, not 12th, because I deeply love Estonia better than the UK. Oh, I forgot about Sweden. Sorry, Sweden. It was like a catchy crying song. I would put them 14th and just put everyone down. So yeah, in the end, this is what I would have done. If you check all the songs from the 25th place to the 12th, 11th place, it's only crying people on stage. Not only crying people, but you know what I mean. It was boring. So there's only like 10 people who didn't, who didn't decide to put like some boring stuff. Then if you've seen this, well, thank you. I don't think anybody will, will actually see this. This was it, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to put a thumbs up if you want. And you can leave a comment.
it would be kind of you. You can also subscribe and then I hope you like this video and maybe I'll see you next year. Bye!